All right, so in this video, we're going to uh, learn how to use Google BigQuery API in Python. So for this video, I'm going to cover two things. I'm going to show you how to enable BigQuery API in Google Cloud Console. Then we're going to install the uh, BigQuery API library. And finally, we'll make a, uh, we'll write a simple Python script to query against uh, BigQuery database. All right, so let's start with uh, agenda item number one. So first one to uh, navigate to console.cloud.google.com. On the home page, you want to click on navigation menu. Then you want to go to uh, APIs and services. Then click on library. All right, so from the uh, search field, you want to look for BigQuery API. It should be the uh, first option, BigQuery API and click on the item. And make sure that the service is enabled. Now let's go into our, our Python environment. All right, so to uh, interact with a BigQuery API in Python, we want to uh, run the pip install, upgrade Google Cloud BigQuery in our terminal. So I'm going to uh, copy the command. And I run the uh, pip install uh, command. And I'll install the library. So the way how BigQuery API is able to uh, authenticate your account or to recognize uh, your assets is by using a service account. Uh, if you don't have a service account file uh, available, then you can uh, watch the uh, instruction from the link in the description below. So here's my uh, client file or my service account client file. Now going inside to my uh, Python editor. So I'm going to import the OS library first. And here I'm increase the font size. And to import uh, BigQuery API library, want to type from google.cloud import followed by the uh, package name, and it's going to be BigQuery. Now to authenticate our account, we want to uh, reference the OS library, the environment. And here we want to uh, set the environment viewable to Google underscore application underscore credentials. And this will be the uh, file path to the client service file. Now we can uh, construct our BigQuery uh, client instance. So here I'm going to name the uh, instance client. It's equals to BigQuery.client. And it's going to be a method. All right, so for my uh, BigQuery console, I have this uh, very, very uh, simple SQL query to retrieve the first 50 items from the uh, San Francisco Backshare Stations uh, table. And this is what the uh, table looks like. So we're getting three counts, station ID, name, and dot count. All right, so I'm going to copy uh, the SQL query here. Now create a variable, name uh, SQL query. And I'll paste the uh, SQL statement here to the uh, SQL query variable. And to run the uh, BigQuery query using the API, we want to reference client's instance da query and here we'll pass the uh, SQL query and I'll name the output uh, query job so basically when you run a big query uh, query the engine is going to execute a job and it's going to uh, process the uh, SQL statement and depending on how complex your uh, SQL query is, it can take between uh, 10 seconds to a couple minutes to process the SQL query. All right, so let me go ahead and run this code block. Now, if I print a query job, it's going to return the jobs information, such as uh, the project ID, uh, from the location where the server is uh, executing the query 
in the uh, query ID. Now to retrieve the uh, records from the query job object, I want to reference the result method. So the result method output is going to return a table that will iterate the object. So that means we can iterate uh, this output here. So here I can set a loop for row in query job that result. I can print the uh, row object. Now if I run the loop, it's going to uh, return the first uh, 50 records based on my SQL query. Now here, uh, each item is going to be a named tuple. So if you want to return uh, each individual value, we need to first of all uh, reference the element index. So let me go back. So we can actually retrieve the values uh, in two different ways. So the first approach is going to be referencing uh, the column index position. So this is going to give us a uh, station ID's value. And this is going to be station's name. And this is going to be the uh, dark count. All right, so if I print uh, these three rows, it's going to give me 62, um, the station's name, and the dark count. Now, if I want to uh, reference by the count name, we can simply insert the attribute associated to uh, the counts. So this is going to be a uh, station ID. And here we need to uh, get rid of the uh, index number. Station's name and the dark count. And if I print these three lines, and it's going to give me the same values. All right, so this is going to be everything I'm going to cover in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.